if you want to add your own watermark on your pdf or if you want to add your company logo in your pdf as a watermark so in this video we will learn how to add your own watermark on your pdf by using tcp there so my name is dvs patel and you are watching signup web youtube channel so let us see live demo first here so here you can see i already created one live demo for you so let us see live demo first so here you can see so here you can see in my invoice i put my logo as a watermark so how is it possible so let us see step by step how to configure this logo as a watermark in your pdf so here you can see i created one live block for you so in a step one create one project folder like generate pdf so you go to your jam server or wam server and create one folder like generate pdf so here you can see i created one folder like generate pdf so here you can see i created one folder generate pdf and inside that folder so in a step 2 download tc pdf so here you can see when i click on this link you need to download tc pdf library so you must have to download this library first you can simply click on this download button and download that library i already downloaded that library so i'm not again download that library so once you download that library you must have to upload this library here so i already uploaded here so you, here you can see i already uploaded that library here and inside that library all the files and some php file and all that are there so simply you need to download that library and upload it here right inside your generate pdf folder which is your project folder okay now now once you download that library and upload that library inside that folder now create one file like watermark underscore pdf dot php it means i already created that file here so here you can see inside that folder i created one file like watermark underscore pdf underscore maker dot php i simply open that file In, inside this file we write some logic or we write some code to put watermark right so first you need to include this library we already uploaded that library here this pdf that folder and inside that we call one file like tcpdf.php simply you need to include this library right and here we create our own class which is extend our tcpdf method so here you can see we created this own class so you must have to declare this class to generate pdf and to put your own watermark so inside that now in this class the most important you must have to provide your logo part and here you can see i provide my logo part here so here i already uploaded my logo so here you can see in a step 3 we include our file that already we have discussed and we created that class and inside that class you must have to provide your logo part right now the most important when you upload your logo your logo will be like this so how to create that type of logo so for that you need to go to google and open photopea right and inside this photopea right go to file new and provide your logo size and click on and here you need to click white and click on create right and here you need to upload your logo so here we create a logo just like a watermark because we need to because we need to rotate our logo and we need to reduce our opacity of this logo so for that here you need to rotate your logo by using this so based on based on your requirement you have to rotate your logo and after that you need to click on image and click on adjust and here you need to set your level so here we reduce our opacity so we require this type of logo as a watermark so so simply you need to 
create your logo file just like this right and after that finally you need to export this logo click on jpg and here you need to provide file name like logo right save now once you create this logo you need to upload this logo into your part into your project folder here so here i upload that logo here in my project folder simply you need to put your logo inside your project folder right so here so here my logo has uploaded now this logo name you need to pass here right so suppose i uploaded that logo so i simply copy that logo here logo name here so this is how you can upload your logo now let us see are watermark generated or not so here you can see so here you can see your logo will be appear in your invoice right so this is how you can add your logo and if you want to set your top margin or you can set your logo width height and all that so here you can see suppose i need to change this suppose i top margin will be 30 it means my logo will be move from top so let us see now my logo is here now it will be put down slightly so let us see so here you can see my logo will be put down with margin of 30 right so based on your requirement you can set your top left width height and all that right so this is how you can and if you if you generate this pdf in your local pc or in your local project so you can use this part this is a live project so here i uploaded my full part here right you can also check this with this it will be appear or not so here you must have to load your logo right and this will be used for your local project or in your local pc right so this is how you can set your height width and all that right and this is a simple code which is used to generate your pdf by using tcpdf so simply you need to copy this code and here you need to set your author name and all that you can set your margin and all that right and the most important when you generate your invoice or when you generate your pdf you must have to set your content here i declare one variable like content and inside that content i design my invoice here i take a static template or static invoice so based on your requirement if you are dynamic generate that invoice you can pass your dynamic variable inside this invoice and I, I also set this all the source code with you so you can download this all the source code right and the most important once you design your content you need to pass inside this write html method and after that you need to provide a file name and the most important this output method that file name you need to pass and you must have to pass parameter like i it means if you want to display your invoice inside your browser then you must have to pass this i parameter so this is how this pdf display inside my browser but if you want to download this pdf into your pc then simply you need to enable this command with pass parameter like d so let us see it will download or not now i will refresh this page so here you can see your invoice will be download on your pc so let us open that file so in folder and click on open with 
Adobe Reader. So here you can see your watermark will be displayed inside your PDF. So this is how this code will be work and I also shared this all the code and all the functionality with you. So you can follow our blog and you can download this code from this download code button and if you want to see this demo so you can click on this live demo so this is how this code will be work and this is how this functionality work if you have any query or any question please write it down your comment in comment section and so many people watching my video but didn't write some comments on that video so please write some comment so thanks for watching this video and thank you